Hello everybody and welcome to um, uh, Sword Online episode 23 review and um, if there are you know, like pauses or me repeating something well actually yeah that would be uh, the, you know skips and then me repeating something yeah uh, it's because I've had to pause the video because like you know noisy household establishment anyway <clears throat> What happened in this episode was obvious for last week. I knew what was going to... Well, not known for the light novels, but known because of what Kirito was doing. I think he was doing it in that episode. No, I don't... No, he wasn't fiddling with the camera around. Well, whatever episode he was fiddling with the camera around with Yui. Um, um, when, um, you know... Asana said, oh, I, I can bring you to school. And I was just like, hmm, that's impossible. Wait! That fucking camera! And he did do that. So, yeah. yeah that, that was kind of good. And I, it was actually pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie when y Yuki was at, was, you know, at, not literally at the, well, she literally was kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if her body wasn't there, her mind was there. Um, being at the school and people accepting her so easily. And that was really a nice touch. Like, you know, the um, teacher and um, when she was reading the book, um, you know when it panned to like this white, uh, like white background and Yuki was um like seeing her persona speaking um it looked like she was in the school uniform that Asuna was wearing so I think she saw, thought when she was reading that she was actually there you know her body was there or that was either Asuna thinking that because she was crying afterwards because if she was crying because of the um you know what was being read I was just like oh the emotion was completely lost on me so for my sake I'm a monster when it comes to the stuff of the heart you all know that um but then for my sake you uh, I'll just say she was imagining you know Yuki standing next to her or in the opposite desk from her so yeah um Yuki then um uh, like asked Asuna, can you take me well to like you know this area? And I actually thought she was gonna go to um to see the, her grave, this, her sister's grave. I mean, like maybe we're gonna get, get another feel. But th there was a, like a feel, but it's in this section. I'll explain what it is in a minute. Um, but no, we we went to um Yuki's old house, and we find out that even though she was living there for a year, she remembered everything vi vividly, like um, hearing her twin playing on in the garden, having a barbecue with her parents, you know? Simple things that people take for granted. Because these are the types of simple things that most people, when growing up, don't really enjoy, you know? I mean, granted, when you, you most people don't go out, um, you know, Play in the back garden for time to time. Like the only real reason you would go out is for to play with, like you know, younger sibling. And granted, they were probably like you know young at that stage, but it makes you wonder. That I it makes you think that don't waste them um, the freedom of the outside, you know, because Yuki has obviously lost that as well as her friends. But again. Gaming did provide a new reality for her, and so did uh, uh, Arsenal and Kirito. Um, again, even if she wasn't there by body, she was there by mind. So to me, she's still there. Well, literally, yeah, she is still there, except you know, not her body. So yeah, moving on from that, um, we find out that um, the grandma is either going to tear down the house, or Yuki's grandma, um, or going to turn it into a convenience store. And I was just like, ah, oh, so. Not very good, um, uh, I don't, you know, she's maybe changing it because she's not clinging on to the past, I don't really know, she just said, but then, uh, Asuna said, why don't you get married, uh, when you get 16, get married and then keep the house, or something along those lines, and, again, that was a feel for me, because it's, because Asuna is being selfish. Yuki may die. Um, I yeah, I think it, it was mentioned she was diagnosed as 
you know, dying in a couple of months. Well, even if she wasn't, she can't do stuff like that. You know, she can't live out a normal life. What people, what people consider normal, you know? Like, obviously gaming for her is the normal reality, but Asna's implying the rea- the actual reality. And, again, she's tr- clinging, trying to keep her here even when she can't be there. And um, when she, the, um, you know, um, at the end of the day, of the school day, like saying, thank you, I'll keep this memory. And then Asuna just like quickly diverting it, saying, what are you talking about? we got loads more things to do. Is there anything else you want to see? It's okay to form a bond. I'm not saying it's bad that Asuna is forming a bond with Yuki. In fact, I think it's, well, it's not really admirable. It's just nice, essentially. She's making a friend. But she's filling, not Yuki, but herself with false hopes and pretenses. And then eventually, if Yuki has is been one of the ones diagnosed to die, again, I don't remember if she was, I think it was mentioned, but if not, I'm just assuming at this point. Um, it'll make, probably make Yuki guilty for leaving, even if she has no control over it. Because Asuna is essentially building a future when the future, yes, it isn't clear cut and we don't know what will happen, but Yuki knows that her and her friends haven't got the time to plan the th- um, that far ahead. She can't pl- plan to get married. She can't plan to, like, you know, keep the house. She can't plan to get a job, have kids, etc. So, yeah. Kind of a field trip at that point. But what was kind of comedic and kind of, like, strange, in my opinion, in, well, what um, Asuna said afterwards. Um, so, yeah. Um, Yuki saying, oh, like, cleanse too much to the kid. Uh, why don't I marry you? But you will have to be the wife, otherwise I'll be called Yuki Yuki. And I was just like, hmm... Have we got a Yuri moment here, sunshine? Come on! And then, you know, Asuna just going, two girls, and I'm just like, oh, really? In 2020... 2027? Whatever, I'm just going to, like... Yeah, yeah, in 2020, people still think, nah, really? Really? Good lord, sunshine! But, obviously, you know, Yuki's just, like, saying, um... You have someone you like, obviously... So far, there hasn't been any hints that, you know, Yuki does like Asuna in a romantic sense. But if she did, she'll probably take it to the grave. Oh, God, that will make her death all the more tragic if she does die. Oh, oh, God, God. <laughs> oh, oh, good Lord, that remi- yeah, that reminds me. Oh, forward, uh, I'm seeing it pan in before my eyes. It's typing out, it's typing fucking out. But anyway. Last part aside, like, you know, um, uh, Asuna had, and her mum, had character development. Now, I don't feel guilty for hating her mum at the beginning because, no, 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 yes, this was redemption, giving reasons to the mum, but, he, no, 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 I'll only do it for other people, on occasion, of course, I mean... Well, then again, there was only an exception. Fate Zero's caster only had an exception for him. Yeah, only for that guy. But if you know their total nut jobs, and they do get, like, you know, justification for why, I won't, you know, feel sy- I'll feel sympathy for them, but yeah. But anyway, this type of thing, when it's a parent thing, and I was proved right with her being hypocritical, I'm just like. No. No, that that's just cringeworthy for me, personally. Um, so, yeah. Um, Asuna wanted to portray her feelings, tell her what she was thinking, but she couldn't do it within the real world. Fair enough. But the mother, you know, like, being apprehensive, I'm like, you're being apprehensive about technology, like, because that's essentially what she's being. Like, you could say gaming, but 
let's just say technology. Well, gaming is technology. But, yeah, um, you're using a bloody computer for your work. Come on, girl. I mean, like, you probably know what to do, etc., etc. And then, you know, as soon as saying, uh, uh, give me five minutes. Uh, let me show you. In the real world, uh, no. <laughs> virtual MMO RPG motherfucker. They're in the cabin. <coughs> Sorry, um, I think it's Arsenal's cabin. Could be wrong, but anyway, for the sake of it, we learn about um, Arsenal's grandparents a little bit, not majorly, but it was enough. Um, as a child. Um, Asuna's mum went off to Kyoto, or Tokyo, either one of those two. I think it was Tokyo. I'm going to say Tokyo for my sake. Um, you know, for a job, etc., like, you know, building up uh, her life. And then, you know, Asuna stayed with her grandparents. And then, when, you know, like, they're hearing news about, you know, their daughter... And they're proud of her. And they're like, she's making a name for herself. She's doing well. And and her father says that she'll eventually get tired. But the sad thing is, Asuna's mum probably didn't know that. But it begs the question why Asuna didn't tell her, but I don't, maybe, because it were, because they were in real life, um, she couldn't probably say it, but within the virtual world she could, like, you know, the snowy area in reminiscence of where she used to live as a, as a child, Asuna's mum now. And, um... Yeah, saying that I want to do this because the people I'm with make me stronger and I want to help them out as well. Like, I love where I where I am. And, you know, when she started crying, saying, oh, what is this? And then Asana noted that um, you can't hide your emotions within the world. And I was just like, wow. Hescliff, don't remember his real name. Created a damn good piece of technology, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I mean, yes, I know it's a touching moment, but for something like that to be properly portrayed, it just goes to show that um, virtual, like, gaming um, will be a phenomenal experience. If, you know... I hope virtual gaming is happening in my lifetime. Yeah, you know, like, we got Oculus, but I just mean something like that, you know? When they can actually go into another world. And then, coming out, you know, next morning, um, Arsenal's mother was like, you need to go to university, you want to, you need to get stronger, and your, gra your grades need to improve, you know, get stronger. And then Asuna was a is able to stay her third and final year. Yes, I think that's how it goes. Um, with her friends. And, you know, her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, had to do that. <sighs> this episode was calming, but at the same time it had, like, you know, little hints of feels, kind of. Yeah. Do I think next week is going to be calming? Probably. But I don't think it'll go my way. But yeah, as for this episode, I'm going to give it a... 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. It was a nice breather. Um, but it had a lot to offer. I mean, character development for Asuna and her mother. Uh, uh, character development for Asuna herself and character development with Asuna and her mother's relationship. As well as character development for Yuki. You know, seeing how she she interacts and all that, like, you know, no, Arsenal and Yuki's relationship. There we are. There. Save my skin. 9 out of 10. See you next week. We're probably going to get a feel fast. Good day.